Ladies and gentlemen, I have to get in on this immigration um, issue and the separation of children. Now, in the Black community, I want to pull you back through history and go through all of the separation that never stop happening to the Black community. Now, it, it is just amazing how everybody is jumping up and down and hooping and hollering over this. But I want to show you how many times separation has occurred to the Black community and we never even got even a fraction of the outcry that you see today. There were no first ladies coming forward to make statements. There were no Black uh, CBC members coming forward on our behalf, but they are there for these immigrants more than they are there for our community. This is a problem. This is a big problem. We were brought here by force. These people came across the border on their own accord. It's a hell of a difference. Our separations have never stopped being forced in this country. And I want to show you this. Now, I had to laugh when I looked at this sign this woman is holding. What kind of monsters put children in cages? Well, children are put in cages in America every day. Okay, it's called their prison system. They never stop caging people since chattel slavery, and it still goes on to this day. America loves to cage people. Don't get it twisted. And they will never stop loving it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have never bounced back from the effects of our families being separated during chattel slavery. Children sold to one owner, parents sold to another, husbands and wives split up, sons and daughters never see each other again. This is our legacy of being divided in America and this government was happy to do it and still happy to separate you from your family to this day. During the reconstruction, when slaves left the plantation, do you know another separation happened in the black community? People were separated again. Mothers separated from children leaving the plantations. Okay, so during the post-war era in America, Civil War, post-Civil War, there was again a big separation in Black families. And they were trying to reunite with each other. The war separated our families again. People had to scatter, they had to run, Many of them migrated out of the South. They couldn't find their loved ones because of all the war and killing that was going on down there. A lot of people never found their family members again in the Black community. And some were alive. They just went to two different locations in the country and just never found out about where each other were. So separation happened again. All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, back when welfare was given to black mothers, one of the rules they had was the father was not allowed to be in the household, although they never practiced this on any other group. Every other group that that's out here, and just talk to them. I'm not making this up. Talk to people on welfare. Those men are in the household. 
But black men, if they came and inspect us, inspected us like some fucking kids, came to your house to inspect, and that man was sitting there in your house, you lost your welfare benefits. So this government was always for the separation of the black family. But talk to people because I have, I've talked to white people on welfare. That man is sitting right there in the house. I've talking to, I'm sorry, I've spoken to Latino families. The man is right there in the house. But when it came down to the black family, that man couldn't be there or that woman would lose all benefits. Oh, I'm not going to forget about our separation. I'm not going to forget. Let me take you to another time, ladies and gentlemen, not long ago, during Hurricane Katrina, another time in American history when Black families were separated. When that um, disaster struck, all kinds of people got separated. And you, if you remember, people got bussed out of there. And kids went in one state, parents went in another. And in many cases, the parents and kids didn't even get on the same bus. Do you remember that? Now they're talking about 1,500 children, immigrant children, that have been separated from parents. Ladies and gentlemen, during Katrina, over 100,000 families got separated. So not only did we go through another separation from our children, it was done in a much massive number than what you're looking at right now. Where were all these politicians? This happened on Bush Watch. Remember George Bush? I didn't see even a fraction of the politicians jumping up and down and screaming. Not even a fraction of them. Ladies and gentlemen, they didn't finally unite these families that got separated until the following year. 26, uh, 2006, I'm sorry. Katrina was in 2005. All of the children did not get united with their mothers or their mothers and fathers until the following year. Many of these children that got separated and displaced ended up in foster care. Many of them went on missing and exploited children list because they couldn't be found. And then that's because of the separation that happened during Katrina. See, there have been many, many separations in the black community and the outcry is almost non-existent. And let's go to today. We got mass incarceration in this country that still continues to impact the black family more than anyone else. And America stacks a lot of innocent people in jail and don't give a damn. This is why every single month, this person is, is, is um, exonerated and they've been in jail for 20, 30, 40, 50 years. This person should not have been in there. These astronomical sentences for drug possession. When have they ever stopped separating us? That's my question. When did the separation ever stop in our community? It's never stopped. It's been going on nonstop from chattel slavery all the way up until now, ladies and gentlemen. Don't ever forget that. Don't get a bout of amnesia about all 
of the impacts and the emotional damage that has done to our community. And nobody is caring. No one is pushing legislation to stop all these mass incarcerations, especially of innocent people. Where's the outcry for us? You know, I'm watching videos and many of our people are putting out great videos, but you're not including all of our separation that has happened to us. That emotional damage never goes away. And every time they're snatching one of us off the street to go in and do that prison work, it's a reminder that no one cares. No one cares. The immigrants have gotten more attention for their separation over the last few days than the black community for centuries. I don't ever want you to forget that. Please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. Share the video, like the video. And I'm out. Peace, family.